Google Earth is a remarkable tool that has uncovered important geographical features and historical sites worldwide. However, it has also brought to light some of the planet's most bizarre and unexpected sites. It really looks like blood. A lot of, uh, a lot of killing. And uh, it, was, uh, it was a pretty ugly scene and it continued to get worse. Blood literally ran in the streets as the Allies and the Americans tried to fight against the insurgents in Iraq. From the giant pink bunny sprawled across an Italian hillside to the meticulously arranged guitar-shaped forest in Argentina, these anomalies have baffled viewers from the comfort of their screens. The heart-shaped lake in Ohio and the strikingly mysterious pentagram in Kazakhstan have both intrigued and puzzled Google Earth enthusiasts. Join us as we explore these oddities and more in the 20 strange things caught on Google Earth. Number 20. Giant Pink Bunny, Italy. Nestled in the mountains of Artesina, a small village in northern Italy, a peculiar sight captured the attention of both locals and Google Earth users around the world. In 2005, seemingly overnight, a massive pink bunny appeared atop one of the area's 5,000-foot-high hills. This wasn't just any bunny, but a gigantic, knitted rabbit, visible from afar, sprawling across the landscape with a length of 200 feet and a height of 20 feet. Created by Galitin, a Vienna-based art collective, this pink bunny was not designed merely as a piece of art to be admired from a distance. Instead, it invited interaction, dubbed haze, the German word for hair. This colossal rabbit came with its entrails spilling out, setting a somewhat macabre scene reminiscent of a giant Gulliver from Gulliver's Travels in Lilliput. Gelatin encouraged visitors to not only view, but climb, jump on, and rest atop the rabbit's stuffed body, engaging directly with the installation. The placement of such a striking object in a serene natural environment created a striking contrast against the dark green foliage of the mountain slope, making it a subject of fascination and a popular target for satellite imagery enthusiasts. Galitin had expected this unusual installation to last until 2025, providing a long-term interaction spot. However, the elements and possibly wildlife began to take their toll much sooner. By 2016, the rabbit had almost completely decomposed, its vibrant pink hues fading into the landscape. Number 19. A billionaire's name in the sand. On the sandy shores of Al-Futaisi Island in the Persian Gulf, a monumental and unusual sight can be spotted from the sky. The name Hamad carved into the earth itself. This isn't just any signature. It belongs to Hamad bin Hamdan al-Nahyan, a billionaire sheikh and member of Abu Dhabi's ruling family. What makes this name so extraordinary isn't just its owner, but its sheer scale and its ability to withstand the forces of nature. Spanning two miles in length and half a mile in height, the letters forming Hamad are so large that they are visible from space. This grandiose display of Hamad's name isn't merely etched into the sand. It has been designed to interact with the environment in a unique way. Unlike typical inscriptions made in sand, which would normally be washed away by the tide, these letters are crafted large enough to form their own waterways. As the tide rolls in, water flows through these channels and can be seen flowing all the way through to the letter M, yet they remain intact, reshaping the island's coastline. The creation of such large waterways within the letters ensures that the structure endures against natural erosive processes, making the name Hamad a permanent fixture on al Futaisi Island owned by the Sheikh himself. Number 18. Guitar-shaped forest. In the expansive agricultural landscape of Argentina's Pampas, a unique and heartfelt tribute emerges from the earth, a guitar-shaped forest crafted entirely from trees. This poignant landmark stretches over two-thirds of a mile and was created by Pedro Martín Ureta in memory of his wife, Graciela Iraizos, who tragically passed away at the age of 25 from a brain aneurysm in 1977. The inspiration for this grand gesture traces back to a flight the couple took over the Pampas, during which Graciela remarked that the fields resembled a milk pail and suggested they should embed a design into their own fields. Initially, Ureta was hesitant, planning to delay the project until they both had more time. Unfortunately, Graciela's sudden death meant that the project was never discussed again until Ureta decided to bring her dream to fruition 
as a tribute to her love and their shared dreams. Determined to memorialize her in a way that reflected her passion for music, particularly the guitar, Ureta meticulously planned and planted the forest. He used cypress trees to form the outline and blue eucalyptus trees to accentuate the strings on the guitar's neck. A star-shaped hole at the center of the guitar adds a distinctive touch, making the image even more striking from above. Despite its vast size and visibility from the air, Ureta, who is afraid of flying, has never seen the guitar from above and has only witnessed his creation through photographs. Number 17. Heart-Shaped Lake in Columbia Station, Ohio, USA. Nestled in the small town of Columbia Station, Ohio, a remarkable and heartwarming natural feature captured on Google Earth has captured the imaginations of viewers worldwide. This is the Heart-Shaped Lake, a small body of water that, true to its name, has a perfect heart shape visible from above. The lake is nearly 300 feet from top to bottom. This striking geographic feature is not a man-made creation, but a natural occurrence, which makes it all the more fascinating. Located at the coordinates of 41.3039 degrees north latitude and 81.9016 degrees west longitude, this charming lake has become a local landmark and a favorite spot for romantic strolls and quiet reflection. The lake's distinct heart shape is best viewed from the air, where its contours are clearly delineated against the surrounding greenery. The heart-shaped lake covers an area that, although not precisely measured, offers a serene escape within the bustling state of Ohio. The formation of such a uniquely shaped lake naturally piques curiosity about its origin. Typically, the shape of a lake can be influenced by various geological processes including glacial movements, erosion, and the natural configuration of the land. In the case of the heart-shaped lake, it is likely that a combination of these factors, aligned perfectly, resulted in its romantic shape. The lake is not only a visual treat, but also serves as a habitat for various species of wildlife, providing an ecological niche within the suburban landscape of Columbia Station. Number 16. World's Biggest Pool in Algarobo, Valparaíso, Chile. Nestled on the sun-drenched coast of Algarobo, Valparaíso in Chile, lies a marvel of engineering and leisure, the world's largest swimming pool. Captured in stunning detail on Google Earth, this colossal pool is an unmistakable landmark of luxury and architectural prowess. Stretching over one kilometer in length, with a total area of 20 acres, this pool holds a staggering 66 million gallons of crystal clear seawater. It's more than just a pool. It's a man-made lagoon, with the water sourced directly from the Pacific Ocean. The technology behind this mammoth pool, developed by Crystal Lagoons, is as impressive as its size. It uses a computer-controlled suction and filtration system to continuously cycle ocean water in and out, keeping it in pristine condition while conserving both energy and water. The pool is situated within the San Alfonso del Mar Resort, a luxurious destination that promises guests a unique and unrivaled experience. The size of the pool allows for a variety of water sports, including sailing and kayaking, in a controlled environment, free from the risks of the open sea. From an aerial view provided by Google Earth, the pool's vivid turquoise water stands out strikingly against the deeper blues of the Pacific. The pool holds the Guinness World Record for the largest swimming pool by area, a title it has claimed since its completion in 2006. Number 15. Lips in Sudan. Deep in the desert landscape of Sudan, a captivating and intriguing natural formation, known as the Lips of Sudan, has caught the attention of those exploring the Earth from above through Google Earth. This geographic feature strikingly resembles a pair of human lips and serves as a brilliant example of nature's artistry. Located near Arawala, a village in West Darfur, the formation stands out in the vast, monotonous desert terrain. Contrary to initial thoughts that these might be naturally formed hills, the lips are actually an optical illusion created by the unique arrangement of trees and the interplay of natural colors in the area. The trees have grown in such a way that they form the cupid's bow and middle part of the lip, set against a backdrop of darker red soil that contrasts vividly with the surrounding yellow sand. This natural spectacle is about one kilometer long. Geologists believe that aeolian processes, where wind erosion plays a crucial role, 
have shaped the landscape over millennia. These winds have not only sculpted the sand, but also possibly influenced the growth patterns of the vegetation, contributing to this stunning natural mimicry. Number 14. Blood Red Lake, Iraq. One of the most startling images captured on Google Earth features a lake that appeared blood red. Located on the outskirts of Sadr City in Iraq, this phenomenon was part of a stretch of water known locally as Lago Vermelho. Notably, this lake runs through the city, separated into sections by concrete barriers and crossings. It was within one of these central panels that the bright red color was distinctly visible, creating a stark contrast to the typical blue-green hues of surrounding waters. Initially spotted by satellites around the year 2007, the lake drew immediate attention and speculation. Some theories suggested that its proximity to a slaughterhouse might have resulted in the red coloration due to the disposal of dead animals. This idea aligned with observations of similar incidents globally, where organic waste contributes to dramatic changes in water color by promoting the growth of red algae or bacteria. However, a more likely explanation considered by environmental scientists points to the presence of nearby sewage or water treatment facilities. These could have discharged pollutants rich in phosphates and nitrates, fostering conditions ideal for an algal bloom, often responsible for reddening water bodies. Interestingly, the lake has since returned to its normal color on Google Earth. Similar to phenomena like Iran's Lake Urmia and Senegal's Lake Retba, the Blood Red Lake in Iraq is a vivid indicator of ecological changes and challenges. Number 13. Russian Doll of Nature. Here, we have the most curiously delightful geographic anomalies on Earth, caught on Google Earth, a true marvel of nature's layering. Imagine an island within a lake, on another island, within another lake, on yet another island. This natural phenomenon exists in a remote part of Canada, precisely located at 69.793 degrees north, 108.241 degrees west. This intriguing formation is situated 75 miles inland from the southern coast of Victoria Island, a significant landmass in northern Canada. The outermost layer is Victoria Island itself, enveloped by numerous elongated finger lakes. Within one of these lakes lies a larger island, and nestled within this island is yet another smaller lake. It is within this small body of water that our unique subject, a narrow four-acre island, peacefully resides. This island, though lacking a formal name, has earned a remarkable title thanks to the diligent efforts of Google Earth enthusiasts. This sub-sub-sub island, shaped like a tiny tilde of green, has likely never felt the footprint of a human. Number 12. Spiral Art Installation in Egypt. In the vast expanse of the Egyptian desert, not far from the bustling shores of the Red Sea, lies a mesmerizing and colossal art installation that captivates the curiosity of those viewing from above. Known as Desert Breath, this intriguing spiral design sprawls over 1 million square feet. Created in March 2007 by artists Danai Stratu, Alexandra Stratu, and Stella Constantinides, Desert Breath was designed to blend seamlessly with the natural landscape, forming a direct dialogue with the infinite sandy surroundings. The installation consists of a series of concentric spirals made from sand, dug out from the desert itself. At its center, it features a double spiral that winds outwards, with one spiral made from pointed cones, and the other from excavated depressions in the ground, eventually converging into a large vessel filled with water at its core. According to the artists, Desert Breath celebrates the desert as a state of mind, a landscape of the mind reflecting on the endless horizons and the profound solitude of the desert environment. Number 11. Pentagram in Kazakhstan. Located on the southern shore of the Upper Tobol Reservoir in Kazakhstan, a giant pentagram etched into the earth stands out as one of the most unusual and striking features visible on Google Earth. This five-pointed star inside a circle measures approximately 366 meters in diameter, creating a visual spectacle from above. The origins of the pentagram are not as mysterious as they might seem. Contrary to initial speculations about satanic connections, the pentagram in Kazakhstan is actually the outline of a park. This design was created during the Soviet era as a symbol of the five-year plans that aim to increase the productivity and unity of the Soviet states. Located near the city of Lysakovsk, 
the area surrounding the pentagram is dotted with remnants of a bygone era, including remnants of a Soviet campground. The star itself is formed by the paths that are lined with trees, making the shape more distinct from an aerial view. These paths are designed to converge at the central star, each point precisely aligned to create the geometric figure. The pentagram's positioning and its enduring visibility raise fascinating questions about the extent and lasting impact of Soviet urban planning. The site has however been largely abandoned, and the park has fallen into disrepair. Number 10. Military Plain Graveyard, U.S. In the vast expanses of Tucson, Arizona, lies an extraordinary site that is typically hidden from public view, but revealed in stunning detail on Google Earth. Welcome to the Davis Munthen Air Force Base, home to the most iconic military plane graveyard in the United States, known as the Boneyard. This 2,600-acre site at coordinates 32 degrees, 8 minutes 59.96 seconds north, 110 degrees 50 minutes 9.03 seconds west, serves as the final resting place for countless military aircraft. The Boneyard is an aerial treasure trove that holds virtually every type of military plane flown by the United States since World War II. From the massive B-52 Stratofortress to the swift F-14 Tomcat, the range of aircraft lying in various stages of decay is both awe-inspiring and somber. Each plane tells a story of past missions and the technological advancements in aviation and military history. While the base itself is off-limits to the general public, Google Earth provides a high-resolution window into this vast cemetery of steel, allowing viewers from around the world to explore the rows upon rows of aircraft parked under the hot Arizona sun. Number 9. Abandoned Launch Sites at Oahu Defense Area in Hawaii The Oahu Defense Area in Hawaii, visible on Google Earth, reveals the ghostly remnants of a Cold War relic, an abandoned Nike missile launch site. During the peak of Cold War tensions from 1954 to the 1970s, the United States established nearly 300 Nike missile sites across the country. These sites were strategically placed to deploy Nike missiles, supersonic surface-to-air missiles, that could even be equipped with nuclear warheads. However, with the development of long-range intercontinental ballistic missiles, Nike missiles became obsolete. The specific site on Oahu is a testament to this extensive defense network. In 1968, it was actively equipped with missiles stored in the open air, separated by embankments at paired launch sites. These installations were crucial in a time when the threat of aerial attacks was a significant military concern. Today, the site stands abandoned, but its structure remains intact, captured meticulously through satellite imagery. David Tewksbury, a GIS specialist at Hamilton College in New York, has undertaken a project to preserve a visual record of these sites. His work involves creating a geo-reference database, enabling research and exploration of the Nike missile sites via Google Earth. Number 8. Polka Dot Formation on Grand Canyon Made by Ants One of the more peculiar sites captured on Google Earth is a series of polka dot formations near Vulcan's Throne, a cinder cone volcano on the north rim of the Grand Canyon. These intriguing patterns may be the handiwork of a tiny yet industrious creature, the Red Harvester Ant, known scientifically as Pogonomermex barbatus. These ants are notorious for their extensive nest-building activities. Each nest can span up to 47 inches across, surrounded by bare ground that covers up to 108 square feet. This significant alteration of the landscape is visible from aerial views, which reveals scattered circular patches across the desert terrain. The discovery of these formations was detailed by physicist Amelia Carolina Sparavigna, a specialist in image processing and satellite imagery analysis at the Politecnico of Torino in Italy. Her observations, presented in a scientific paper on January 11, 2016, suggest that these ant mounds might be responsible for the curious aerial patterns observed near the Grand Canyon. However, Sparavigna notes that on-the-ground confirmation is required to solidify this theory. Number 7. KFC Advertising in Chilly Hillside on a hillside in Chile, a distinctive site captured on Google Earth showcases the power of advertising merged with satellite technology, a colossal KFC logo. This advertisement isn't just about size, it's about its visibility from space, designed specifically for the eyes of Google Earth users. 
This method of advertising, known as mapvertising, taps into the hobbies of those who frequently explore satellite images for unique or unusual findings. What's particularly striking about this form of advertising is its strategic implementation. Companies choose locations based on their clarity and minimal visual obstructions to ensure that these logos are prominent in satellite images. This KFC logo is not the only instance of mapvertising. For example, the world's largest Coca-Cola logo, visible at 18.5292 degrees south, 70.2500 degrees west on a Chilean hillside, consists of 70,000 empty Coca-Cola bottles. Such marketing efforts reflect the creative lengths brands will go to capture global attention, making ordinary landscapes into vast advertisement spaces. The 87,500-square-foot picture of Colonel Sanders near the extraterrestrial highway in Nevada has since been removed. Number 6. An untouched mountaintop rainforest. In the vast expanse of Mozambique lies a spectacular discovery that has largely escaped human touch. Mount Liko. This high-altitude rainforest, perched atop steep granite slopes, remained untouched until its stunning reveal in 2018, thanks to the power of Google Earth. Welsh conservation scientist Julian Bayliss was the first to spot this hidden gem from satellite images, sparking a daring expedition that brought researchers face to face with one of Earth's untouched wonders. Reaching Mount Liko was no small feat. The research team faced a daunting 400-foot climb up a sheer vertical granite face. But the reward at the summit was unparalleled, a pristine ecosystem thriving in isolation. The rainforest canopy buzzed with life, home to a variety of butterflies, spiders, and small mammals, each species possibly undisturbed by human activity for centuries. Amidst the natural beauty, a mysterious human touch emerged. The team found a few old handmade pots scattered within the forest. These artifacts hinted at human presence, suggesting that someone had managed this challenging climb perhaps a hundred years earlier. The origins and purpose of these pots remain a mystery, adding an element of historical intrigue to the ecological treasure. Before we move on, here's today's subscriber's pick. Captured by the vigilant eyes of Google Earth a few years ago, this image sparked waves of curiosity and unease, as it appeared to show a colossal snake lurking in the vast landscapes of Africa. At first glance, the sheer size of this entity could chill the spine. Snakes this large are relegated to the realm of mythology, not modern Earth. However, the intrigue deepens, as it's difficult to discern whether this is a living creature, or perhaps a massive ceremonial statue. What adds another layer of mystery to this already captivating image, is what happened after its discovery. Shortly after a routine reboot of the Google Earth servers, this enormous snake, or whatever it was, mysteriously vanished from the satellite images. This disappearance has fueled rampant speculation and countless theories. Was this giant snake an elaborate digital hoax? Could this have been a living creature, hidden from human knowledge and now gone without a trace? Or maybe it was indeed just a statue, possibly destroyed or removed from its site. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Number 5. Church of Scientology, Bunker in New Mexico. In the remote desert near Mesa Huerfanita, New Mexico, an unusual and intriguing sight is visible from above. Two large diamonds surrounded by overlapping circles etched into the arid terrain. This curious design has captured the attention of many, including author John Sweeney, who claims that this site marks a hidden bunker belonging to the Church of Scientology. Scientology, a religion founded by L. Ron Hubbard in the mid-20th century, offers what it describes as a precise path to understanding one's true spiritual nature and relationships at various levels, from oneself to the supreme being. The symbols found in New Mexico are reportedly designed to guide Scientologists back to Earth following a planetary Armageddon, as outlined in some interpretations of the Church's teachings. This information, alongside the mysterious desert symbols, has been widely covered, including by sources like the Daily Mail. These ground markings, due to their size and the precision of their design, suggest significant planning and resources in their creation. 
The symbols are large enough to be seen from high altitudes, indicating their importance as navigational or marker points. However, the exact purpose of these symbols and the site itself remains shrouded in mystery, with few concrete details available to the public. Despite the speculation, the Church of Scientology has not publicly confirmed any specific use or detailed explanation for the site. Number 4. Looting Holes in Apamea, Syria In the midst of Syria's tumultuous civil war, not only lives and cities have suffered. The war has also endangered some of the world's most significant archaeological treasures. Among these, the ancient Roman city of Apamea has faced a particularly devastating form of destruction, visible shockingly from space through Google Earth imagery. Apamea, once a thriving center of commerce and culture under the Romans, has been scarred deeply by the war. Google Earth images reveal a landscape that has been pockmarked with countless holes, evidence of rampant looting that began with the onset of the Civil War. These holes, dug by looters in search of valuable artifacts to sell on the black market, have transformed this historic site into a terrain that, as archaeology researcher Emma Cunliffe described, looks like the surface of the moon. Cunliffe, from Durham University in England, has meticulously documented this archaeological damage. Her findings are stark. In just eight months, the area damaged by looters exceeded the total area that had been professionally excavated by archaeologists over years of careful study. This rapid destruction has not only stripped Apamea of its historical layers, but also robbed the world of invaluable insights into ancient civilizations that once flourished there. Number 3. Blacked Out Mystery Island In the vast expanse of the Central Pacific Ocean lies Vostok Island, a small, uninhabited coral island that has become the subject of intense curiosity and wild conspiracy theories, all because of its appearance on Google Earth. To the satellite's eye and to the virtual tourists on Google Earth, parts of this island appear suspiciously blacked out, leading some to speculate about secret military bases or hidden activities. But the truth behind this mysterious appearance is far more natural and just as intriguing. Vostok Island, part of the Republic of Kiribati, stretches approximately 0.8 miles in length. It was first discovered in 1820, and despite its isolation, it plays a significant role in the biodiversity of the region. The island is primarily made up of coral sand and rubble, without any lagoon or freshwater sources, making permanent habitation challenging. The blacked-out appearance that stirs so much intrigue is due to the dense covering of Pisonia grandis trees. These trees are rooted in thick peat soil, and their dense dark foliage is so extensive that from an aerial view, they give the island the appearance of a weird black hole. This natural canopy is so thick and dark that it significantly alters the visual interpretation from satellite images. There is also historical and ecological evidence suggesting that while the island has never been permanently inhabited, it has seen visitors. The presence of rats indicates that ancient Polynesians may have visited Vostok Island, possibly using it as a temporary stopover during their expansive oceanic travels. Number 2. Phantom Sandy Island, near New Caledonia In the digital age, Google Earth has become a tool for discovering the hidden corners of our planet, but sometimes it also tells tales of places that don't exist. In 2012, an intriguing story unfolded as a group of Australian researchers set sail to uncover the truth about Sandy Island, a supposed landmass in the South Pacific, reported to be the size of Manhattan and located northwest of New Caledonia. This island, which intriguingly appeared as a black polygon on Google Earth, sparked the curiosity of scientists and adventurers alike. As the researchers approached the coordinates of Sandy Island, expectations were high. Would they step onto untouched soil or find something unexpected? The reality was more surprising than anyone could have anticipated. Instead of land, there was nothing but open water. The island that had made its way onto maps and even into satellite imagery was nowhere to be seen. The disappearance of Sandy Island, which had been intermittently documented on marine charts and world maps since at least the late 19th century, led to a flurry of speculation and investigation. In April 2013, the researchers published an obituary for Sandy Island, attributing its cartographic existence to human errors and a possible pumice raft, which might have been mistaken for land from a distance. Number 1. Wheel Structures in Azraq Oasis 
Jordan. These ancient wheel structures are mysterious patterns often called the works of the old men. They comprise various stone constructs that date back to at least 2,000 years ago. The structures are generally circular, hence their nickname, and they can be quite large, with some reaching up to 70 meters in diameter. Archaeologically, these wheel structures are believed to serve several purposes, potentially linked to burial, ritualistic, or astronomical uses. The precise layout and orientation of the wheels suggest that they might have been used for astronomical observations, aligning with certain celestial events like solstices or equinoxes. This theory is supported by the similarities these structures bear to the famous Nazca Lines in Peru, which also exhibit astronomical alignment. The Azraq Oasis itself is a region rich in history and ecology. It is one of the few permanent sources of fresh water in the eastern desert of Jordan, making it a crucial habitat for wildlife and a vital resource for human settlements over millennia. Despite extensive studies, the full purpose and meaning behind these wheel structures remain a topic of ongoing research and debate among archaeologists. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.